rise is about recognising inspirational scientists and engineers. Making the whole system work, a really healthy research base, really does depend on some very special individuals. Those that not only are great scientists and great engineers, but they also have the leadership skills, the communication skills to really make things happen. So the universities working with EPSRC have helped us to select 10 of the most outstanding research leaders and we are pairing them with rising stars, young scientists who can benefit from the coaching of the senior scientists. Not only that, but the senior scientists are also in turn being paired up with very senior people in industry, business and politics to help them generate the sort of leadership skills that we really need to, to make the research base really sing. I'm Rodrigo Kian Quiroga. I'm the director of the Center for System Neuroscience here at the University of Leicester. Our main interest is to understand different aspects of how the brain works, particularly how we form memories and how we can develop engineering tools to, to understand, I mean, very complex data coming from brain signals. I work with the, what is so-called the Jennifer Aniston neuron, uh, which is something that Rodrigo found uh, around 15 years ago. Basically, we found that there are neurons in a particular region in the brain, which is called the hippocampus. And these neurons, they can uh, respond to particular stimuli. So, for example, you can find a neuron that will fire to a picture of Jennifer Aniston. You can show 10 different pictures, but all the pictures, they elicit the same response from this individual neuron. We think that these neurons are the building blocks for memory. And from this, we can link the perception of a particular stimulus like Jennifer Aniston to the concept of Jennifer Aniston in an abstract way. And in that sense, we can then create memories and associations with other concepts. Uh, so from that point of view, it will help us to understand how memory works in humans. We are getting very variable data that can give us some insights into the mechanisms, the pathological mechanisms that, that give rise to epileptic seizures. In Alzheimer's disease, I mean, the hippocampus, this area of the brain we study, is quite heavily involved. So I think in, in the long term, I mean, our research may have some important clinical impact. My name is John Perkins. Currently, I'm Chief Scientific Advisor in the Department for Business, Innovation and Skills. My responsibilities in BIS are to try to ensure that the scientific evidence informing policy is fit for purpose. Days like this are just great fun for me, to, to, to be able to sit with people doing groundbreaking work in areas of science which I'm not immediately familiar with, and learning about that is, 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 is tremendously stimulating for me. I really get a buzz from that. Rodrigo recognises that what he's doing has potentially a very large impact and thinking with him about ways of enhancing that, moving that agenda forward, I think is also a, a very exciting thing to be, to be involved in. It's an honour to be selected as one of the, the Rice Awardees. Sometimes as, as scientists, I mean in, in our labs and doing our research, we just don't happen to, to know the system well or to, or to know the right people. And I think the advice of John in this, in this sense is, is, is very, very extremely useful because he clearly has the connection and he, he's in a position where he can tell me, well, maybe this, you can develop it further, contacting this person or this way or that way. Making contacts with really senior influential people will, will undoubtedly produce some great outcomes. Not only that, but uh, having the rising stars uh, and developing their careers, aspiring themselves to be great research leaders in the future, uh, that's another great thing about this scheme. I would like to take this field into the next level. There might be very interesting applications in the future. We're not quite there yet. And I think that what John can really bring is different approaches that we can take to expand this even further. The UK's strength in science is, is widely recognised and there's a lot of evidence that you know we're punching well above our weight. But there are others coming up on the inside track and you know we, we need to continue to compete to find ways of being even more effective and I think this scheme is a way of enhancing the networks if you like around some of the excellent science that's going on in the UK. This is a huge opportunity that we're only just beginning to think about how to exploit.